Hello everybody and welcome back to Coon Valley Campers. Today we're with Richard from Brighton Car Keys and he is going to help us turn this knackered old daily key that I've been using for Project Lockdown into this brand new cut coded key. If you own a Volkswagen or any other car, I guess, from the 70s, 80s, 90s, or even early 2000s, you will probably have a completely worn out key, like mine, or you'll have multiple keys to fit multiple doors in your camper. Now, I'm very fortunate in that uh, Project Lockdown actually came with what's called a safety key in the paperwork. Now, if you take a look at the key that I use every day versus the one that's hardly ever been used, there's a bit of a difference there. And what we're trying to do today is make ourselves a new driver key that I can use day to day and either save this one and save this one as well. Um, but basically just enable me to not take my key out of the ignition when I'm driving, which is something that is possible with a knackered key like this. Um, we're gonna go and meet Rich from Bright Richard, sorry, from Brighton Keys now. And uh, yeah, he's gonna go through the whole process with us. And what we're gonna do is not buy the cheap crap that you can buy online. We're actually gonna use the proper bits and pieces to make sure you have a good long lasting key for your pride and joy. So let's go. So we're here today with Richard from Brighton Keys and he's gonna go through the whole process of how we cut and code our new keys. But first of all, thank you very much for coming along today. Uh, just tell us a little bit about Brighton Car Keys, how you started and what you do day to day. So we started in 2013. Um, I did domestic locksmithing for a number of years and then moved into cars. Very expensive job to get into. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but um, so yeah, we cut and program car keys, vans, trucks throughout Sussex. So you cover the whole spectrum really. So if I wanted one from a Scania or a Nissan Micra, I could call on you and, <laughs> and you, could, you could get it sorted. Yep. Brilliant, okay. And so was it because th there wasn't um, enough people in the area doing it? Or was it something that just interested you? Because there's more than one um, element of just <coughs> coding and cutting keys, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, there are a few people, <coughs> there are a few people around Sussex that do do the same job. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's like any other business, there's enough room for everybody to sure. do it right. Yeah. Um, and um, I'm kind of stumped for words. <laughs> fair, <laughs> fine, fair enough. Um, so I, came across Brighton Car Keys on Instagram and uh, I absolutely loved what I saw on the page and got in touch with Richard because I thought he's exactly the man to help me out on Project Lockdown because as we as we've just shown you my keys are absolutely knackered and we've also got a project van in the workshop that needs the keys coded but first of all what we're going to do is uh, hand our keys over to Richard and he is going to quickly just walk and talk us through about what is done to turn this into a decent key that I can use from day to day. Okay, so what we're going to do, this is our Volkswagen key, we can see it's been cut, those are the cuts, and what we're going to do on the key machine is put it in the right place, that's called a stop, and the shoulder of the key lines up to that. We know that this key is a HE49. It's a Silca reference, we only use Silca keys. There's seven cuts, four depths, and we're going to see what we get. Hopefully we'll get some good cuts. So it's going to scan it first, and then it will replicate it once you put a blank in. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, so what that's given us is a series of numbers. The ones in the red are not quite the same depth. It's, it's read them, and the reason it's red is that that's the nearest number, the nearest height number, um, to how it's being decoded. 
I think that that's probably right. So we'll cut a key and see what happens. So we put our key blank in, same position. Tighten it up on the jaw. Stop out. In a few seconds that key will be cut. Okay, so that's cut our key. We're going to go and give it a quick try in the van. Check that the cuts are right and it's operating smoothly. Just buff it up a little bit. Let's go and try the key. Okay, so here's our new key that we've just cut on the machine. Locks and unlocks. We'll try the ignition as well, shall we? Okay, so here's our key. We're just going to test it in the ignition. It's not programmed to the vehicle yet, so it won't start. And we can see that that turns. In fact, I'm just going to try it in the ignition. So we can see that that hasn't programmed. And that is because the engine started, but then cut off right away is that right it's cut off straight away because it knows that this is not the right key because okay. it hasn't been programmed to the vehicle so is that the reason it starts and then cuts is that just to maybe give whoever's trying to start it a little bit of hope or just um, as a fail safe procedure yeah it's probably the uh, fuel pump that's cut out uh -huh. um, when um, you program any volkswagen key they always start mm -hmm. and then cut out right okay um, see that that key is programmed. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the engine code number which is underneath there on a sticker. Mm -hmm. See if we can pull the pin code. Perfect. Right okay so this particular vehicle the Volkswagen T4 it's a 2002 model. What we need to do is generate a transponder which is the correct transponder for that vehicle. It's an ID44 Volkswagen chip and on this bit of software we can generate the chip that can be programmed into the vehicle. So if I go on to ID44 there, click VAG and then I'll put this chip into the machine there and it will write. There we go. That chip's now ready to be programmed into our vehicle. Tester time. And so the chip just sits in this little holder here. And then the most expensive part of the key. Let's put that in our vehicle. Check it out. Look, we've now got our safety key, the original that I showed you earlier that was completely worn, and our newly cut key. Now, in terms of the chip in the side, you've just picked out a blank that was the right ID. Is that correct? Yeah, what it is is that um, certain vehicles have um, different logic on the transponders and we have to pick the correct logic uh, on our software here mm -hmm. that enables us to generate an ID44 chip mm -hmm. for, for a Volkswagen T4. Yep. Earlier models will be an ID42. Right, so now the ID44 chip is in the key and we've cut the key, the next process is going to the van to make sure the key communicates with the immobiliser and the software in the van, is that right? Yep, the next process will be to um, get the engine code of the vehicle, mm -hmm. put that into our tester, and then see if it can pull the pin code to our access to the immobiliser. 
Now you mentioned earlier that this is the point at which we might laugh or cry because sometimes um, software doesn't pull the pin code from the vehicle itself, is that right? That's true, what we need to do is to make sure that the uh, we get optimum um, battery level, mm -hmm. so we'll put a jump pack on the vehicle right. uh, so the battery is nice and topped up because uh, that can uh, kind of interfere with key programming. Interesting, okay. Um, so yeah, we need a good battery and we need to retrieve the pin code and hopefully we'll be able to program it into the vehicle. Awesome. But uh, yet sometimes it sometimes it is can be hit and miss. Yeah. Um, but on this occasion we should be okay. Rad. Excellent. I can't wait for the next stage. Let's get on with it. Okay. So here's our tester, and what we need to do is plug this into the ABD port, which is on the cowling of the steering wheel down here. So we just open that up. There's our plug. We're going to put that in there. Now, what we need is the engine code, and there's a sticker. Don't worry about that. There's a sticker underneath the fuse board here, and that should uh, should have a uh, an engine code on it. And I know that this vehicle is AJT. So what we're going to do is turn the tester on. And see if we can pull the pin code. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go to Volkswagen. Most testers will be asking the chassis number, transporter, read pin code, yes. AJT is our code, yes. Switch ignition on. Okay, so what we've done is um, we tried to pull the pin code on the first attempt. It wouldn't pull it, it came up with an error. So what I've done is I've put a jump pack on the battery to boost the power and we tried again and it's come up with the pin code. I won't tell you what it is, but it has and we'll be able to program the key now. Okay, so we've pulled the pin code. Uh, we've generated the chip for the new key. So what we're gonna do now is the last process which is programming all the keys in. So we'll just wait for the tester to fire up. This machine is password protected, which is the password that I just put in now. Okay. Switch ignition on. Okay, so just gonna put the pin code in. Three keys we require. Okay, so that's the first key done. Second key done. Third key done. Now with these vehicles, there's very little indication on the tester or the vehicle as to whether the programming has been successful. So somebody could hang on to the battery pack. We'll turn the key off. This is the new key that we've just programmed. Check that it's out of gear and that should start. There we go. New key program for a T4. How awesome is that? It's all done. Thank you so much, Richard. That's awesome. I now have my new daily key. And with a bit of luck, it's not going to fall out of the ignition barrel whilst I'm driving along now. I have the original daily key, which I can put to one side. I have the safety key, which I can keep in, in a safe place. And now I have my daily driver key. And that was a really fascinating process. I've never seen that done before. I've never learned about that. Um, so I hope you learned something too. And just some really good hints and tips there. I know you're probably not going to do it at home, um, but what a really, really fascinating process that was. So thanks very much. Welcome. We're now going to go on to our second T4. Now, this is a higher spec version of this vehicle that we are in the middle of building. And it doesn't necessarily need a new key, but the case for the key is broken. And we're going to go and have a quick chat about that and learn about the process of the key with this newer or at least higher spec T4 van. 
Okay, so what we're going to do here is transfer this worn key into this new case. And to do that, we split the case apart there. And we want to take this old key blade out. Now this is a key called a key mate. And what it does, it just holds it in the right position. And there, I don't know if you can see on camera, there's a little split pin there. Uh, roll pin even and we're just going to tap that out to release the key Okay, so that's the old key there now the important thing about this Is you must remember to remove the old transponder from the old key otherwise your vehicle will not start because it's the difference between having a working vehicle and not so we split this apart just tease it apart now. okay and if you look there that's our little carbon chip that's what makes the van go Okay, so we're just going to pop that out. They can be quite tricky to get out sometimes, they might need a bit of persuading or even cutting of the case. Okay, so we're just, it's possibly been glued in in a different time. I'm just going to see if we can tease it out of there. There it is. Okay, so that's our transponder. As you can see, the key ring is broken off on this. So we're gonna put it in a new case. So you can put it back on your key ring. So this is empty, it has got a battery inside it that I've put in. And what we do is we Take this out of here. If you're not confident in working with small components like this, it's probably important that you get somebody who's done it before to fix it for you. Okay, so that goes there into our new case. Make sure it's seated properly. Cover on. And that's that bit done. Where we're at now is we've got the new blade in the new key case and we're going to attach them to both together with this little tool, uh, which is a pin insertion device. So we're going to put that in there. tap it in there and what we're going to do is to finish that off as you can see it's not all the way in we're just going to put it in the vise crimp it together and that's our key done okay so the last bit is just to make sure we can hit that pin home and the key should flip so we're just going to push that in with the vise like that and there we go okay so this is our new key refurbished new case blade and we're just going to put it in to see if it works. Okay, let's test the central locking. And there we have it then. Richard from Brighton Car Keys has completely sorted us out. We have now got a brand new key for Project Lockdown, which is awesome. And we now have a completely refurbished and recased key for this blue T4 that you see in the background. And you've probably seen in the background a few of our other videos as well, and we'll be concentrating on that one another day. So if you want to get in touch with Richard, if you need some new keys doing, then have a look down in the description below. We'll leave all the links, all the web addresses, and the telephone number 
number for you to give Richard a call. Um, I just want to say thanks again so much. I've learned Pleasure. so much today and I hope everybody else has as well. Um, and we've now got two sets of brand new keys for our project vehicles. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ding the little bell. Not quite sure what it does, but get it dinged anyway. It helps our figures out. And follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and also follow this man here at Brighton Car Keys. Thank you very much.